Hello everyone, my name is Confident and in this video, I'm going to show you how to run multiple actions on a single event. And this is really useful because in production applications, you may want to perform multiple API calls or perform multiple DB queries when a user clicks on a button or carries out an action on your application. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that by using the application we have on the screen. And taking a look at the simple store application we have on the screen, we can see that we have a list of items to the left of the screen in the table widget we have right here. And to the right, we have a more detailed description about the item that was selected on the table. So selecting an item would update the description shown here. And the user can go ahead to click on the buy button to actually purchase that selected item. But what we want to do is that whenever the user clicks on this buy button, we want to perform a lot of actions. And we have a few APIs here showing the actions we would like to perform. So when the user clicks on that button, we would like to add that item to the user's cart using the Add to the Cart API. Then we also want to send the user an email letting him know that that item has been added to um, his cart. And lastly, we want to update the product um, quantity by reducing it a bit because it's going to go ahead to buy this one. And then redirect that user to the payment platform where he can actually make the purchase. So how do we go about running all these APIs when the user clicks on a single button? So in this video, I'll show you how to do this in two ways. The first way we'll be doing it asynchronously, which would mean that the order in which the actions run do not matter to us. This behavior may be desirable in some applications, the other method will be doing it synchronously where we allow one action to complete running before we go ahead to execute the next action. So we're going to start by calling all these actions in an asynchronous way. And then when we're done with that, I'll show you how to call them in a synchronous fashion. So for us to get started, I'm going to head over to the buy button. And in the onclick action, I'm just going to enable JavaScript and write some JavaScript here because we'll be doing a lot of JavaScript. Um, the first thing I want to do here would be to write an ify that would contain all the code I need. So I'm just going to write an ify right here. And then I'm going to invoke it. And we have an ify right there. All right, so inside of this ify, what I want to do would be to show you how to call those actions in an asynchronous manner. So to do that, what you just need to do is to call all the actions just like that. So I'm just going to show you by typing that out. The first thing I want to do would be to um, write out the action for the add to cat um, API. So this is going to be add to cat dot run. And then I'll go ahead to add one more for the send email. So this is going to be send email dot run. And I also want to go ahead to call the update product API. So this will be update product quantity dot run. And lastly, what I want to do here would be to navigate to the payment platform, say Stripe, for example. I'll be using the navigate to function. So this is going to be navigate to the URL I want to navigate to. So this is going to be HTTPS stripe.com. I do not want to pass over any query parameters. And I want the navigation to be on a new window. So I'm just going to say new window. And we have these actions configured. So because these actions are configured in an asynchronous manner, the order in which they run is not guaranteed. They are all going to be executed, but the other would not be guaranteed. So let's give this a try by clicking on the button. And you can see that the navigation actually happened first before the API calls were executed. So in some applications, this may be an expected behavior. You may want to do a bunch of things at the same time without caring about the order in which they are executed. So this is how you can do it. We have been able to chain about four actions to the single click of the button. So this is how you can chain multiple APIs um, in an asynchronous fashion. But in some cases, you may want these actions to be synchronous. You may want to complete one action before moving on to the other and before doing the last one. So to run actions in a synchronous manner, you need to provide the next action as a callback to the parent action. And I'm just going to show you what that means. So I'm going to take all of this out so that we can write these same actions in a synchronous manner. And we have the first action here, which is the add to cat action. So what I can do for every action is to pass two functions. That is function one and function two. The first function will be executed when 
the parent action, that is that main action is successful. And then the second function will be executed whenever that function fails. So um, to show you how this works, what we want to do is that and when this is successful, we want to go ahead to send email. That is when the add to cart action or the API returns successful, then we want to call the send to cart API. So to do that, I'm just going to pass in an arrow function right here. And this is the first argument we are passing to the action. So I'm just going to go in here and then write the send email um, action. So this is going to be send email dot run. And we have written this such that send email would only run when the add to cart is done running and is successful. So we can go on to change the other actions in a similar um, manner. The next thing I want to do would be to call the update product quantity action. So uh, what I'm just going to do here is to write an ify. And what I want to do inside of this is to call the update product quantity. So this is going to be update product quantity dot run. And then when all the product quantity is done, what I want to do is to go in there and then perform the navigation. So I'm writing an arrow function one more time. And then this would hold the navigation. So this will be navigate to. The URL we want to navigate to. Stripe.com. We do not want to pass um, over any query parameters. And then the navigation type should be new window. All right, so we have all of this configured and we have configured this in a synchronous manner. So what we can expect is that whenever the user clicks on the button, the add to cart um, API would be called. And when that is successful, the send email API would be called. And when that is successful, we go ahead to update the product quantity. And lastly, we perform the navigation. So notice this time on clicking on the buy button, it will actually take some time to load before it performs the navigation. This is because all these actions will be called first before the navigation happens. So let's give this a test run. I'm going to click on the buy button right now. And we can see that it loads a bit before taking us to the payment platform. All right, so we can close this up. Yeah, so this is how you can chain multiple actions in a synchronous manner. Awesome. So in this video, we've taken a look at how you can run multiple actions and we've broadly seen two ways you can do that. You can chain those actions to work in a synchronous manner or in an asynchronous manner. So I'm sure you're going to put this to use as you go on building your applications. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.